you and Ronnie Radke actually go way back, right? Yeah, I've known Ronnie. Uh, I met him when I was, I guess I was 16. Um, it was 2007. And uh, I, my friends at the time um, wanted to go see Bullet for My Valentine. And uh, I, it was actually at Bogarts and I, and I tagged along. And uh, Escape the Fate was opening for Bullet on mm. that tour. And I'd never heard of Escape the Fate. Um, we caught a little bit of their set and then I'm, I'm pretty bad socially. Like I'm kind of a, whatever the opposite of a social butterfly is. I, I'm sort <laughs> of the, uh, not the wallflower because uh, wallflower indicates that you go somewhere and stand at the wall. I just don't go anywhere. So if I'm ever out, a recluse, I age, guess. Yeah. I didn't know what to do. So <laughs> I remember hanging back by in Bogarts, there's like the back bar area where the merch is. Mm -hmm. And I was just hanging around back there, you know, weird kid didn't know what to do. Didn't know anybody to talk to. And, uh, Ronnie like stormed back there and, uh, you know, in a very Ronnie way, was sort of very charismatic and, um, talking to everybody. And, uh, he started shouting at me like, Hey, are you Nikki six? Like kind of in a, in a teasing <laughs> way. Right. And, uh, he goes, I'm Nikki six too. And then, uh, we, we started talking about ironically Motley Crue and, you know, the visual side of rock and everything. And we really hit it off. And, uh, there's actually a photo of us from that night that floats around all the time because he was like, oh, somebody mm -hmm. got to take a picture with us, the two Nikki Sixes. And uh, so there's a picture of us from the gig um, that I've seen for years and years. And um, since then, you know, we stayed in touch over the years. And then uh, around the time that I was 22, 23, we toured together. And, uh, you know, we've always just had weird circumstantial things like... Um, you know, we were rehearsing uh, at a place and next door he was working on his mixtape. So oh, I walk nice. out to smoke a cigarette and, you know, he's next door. And uh, next thing I know, we're doing that asshole song or, you know. Um, so that came together like completely by random. Well, he had hit me up and then I, you know, it, it's one of those things where, again, I'm I'm sort of a little bit of a phantom when it comes to socializing. Like, you mm -hmm. know, I, admittedly, I'm not very approachable. <laughs> and It's not because <laughs> I think I'm better than anybody. I just don't like. I forget that I'm supposed to talk to people. Yeah. Uh, so I'm what you might call a bad friend. Uh, <laughs> not in the way that I'm a bad friend. Like I'm there for the people I love. It's just that yeah. I am, I forget about being a friend to people. Uh, but yeah, um, maybe you're just like so, disassociate or something. Maybe that's yeah, what it I'm is. I'm just so busy, like buying action figures and drawing and making oh, yeah. costumes and sitting in my room. The only person in the whole world that, uh, I love or that I love that I remember to talk to every day is, is my wife because you know, like, that, that's my my number one. Yeah. But if you fall under that category, it's very hard for me to remember to talk to people. But again, that's my fault. Um, but so uh, we were and then like similarly, um, I was living we were living in downtown L.A. at the time. And uh, I, I was driving to our uh, loft that we lived in at the time. And I see this music video being shot and there's all these lights and everything everywhere. And it was nearby. And I, I thought I saw Ronnie and I hit him up and I go, yeah, are you, are you shooting a video downtown right now? <laughs> he's like, yeah. And I go, you're literally like right across the street from where I live. He's like, oh, oh wow. come be in the video. So then I'm in the, <laughs> I'm in the bad girls club video. I was literally just wearing the clothes that I was wearing, driving home, just walked up, didn't know the song. So people ask me all the time, like, why are you in the bad girls club video? And there is no answer other than I lived where they were filming it. <laughs> And uh, I just, I just came down. Yeah. So I've, <laughs> and again, I've known Ronnie for years and years, and um, we've always had a good relationship. And obviously, he is exceedingly successful and deservedly so when it comes to, um, you know, I've always said, whether he likes the comparison or not, I've always looked at him sort of as uh, like a David Lee Roth uh, of our era, you know, where oh, yeah, that's accurate. he is extraordinarily entertaining and says stuff to try to get people's attention and tries to mess with people and um, is very funny and uh, charismatic, but also, you know, like if you watch David Lee Roth in an interview, people will be like, I can't believe he said that. And I think in a yeah. lot of ways, that's that's sort of the way that Ronnie is pretty often. I like that. Yeah, he is definitely the new age David Lee Roth.